Dalton's Atomic Theory I will teach you a very unique concept of Dalton's Atomic Theory with daily life examples. First of all, let me teach you the basic concept of element and atom which will help you to master this theory. We know that every book says that element is a substance that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by chemical means. Believe me, many students memorize this definition but they do not understand the concept or philosophy behind it. Let me teach you a super easy concept. For example, consider water, sugar and gold. Here, let me ask you, can we split up water into something else? The answer is yes. We know that the formula of water is H2O. It means that water is made up of two things, hydrogen and oxygen. So we can split up water into hydrogen and oxygen. Secondly, I ask you again, can we split up hydrogen into something else? The answer is no. We cannot split up hydrogen into something else. So we call it an element. Thirdly, let me ask you again, can we split up the oxygen into something else? The answer is no. We cannot split up oxygen to something else. So oxygen is also an element. Thus we learn that water is not an element because we can split it up into hydrogen and oxygen. While hydrogen and oxygen are both elements because they cannot be split up into something else. Similarly, sugar is not an element because we can split it up into carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. But remember that carbon, hydrogen and oxygen are all elements because we cannot split them up into something else. Now what about the gold? Can you guess the answer? Well, it is an element because we cannot split gold into something else. Hence, this is the basic concept of element. Now, let me ask you the most important question of this lecture. Can we divide an element? Pause the video and guess the answer. Well, the answer is yes. For instance, we can divide gold into smaller pieces. But note it down that if we keep dividing an element, we eventually reach to a point where you cannot divide it further. So finally, we get extremely small pieces. Remember that these extremely small pieces of an element are called atoms. Let me repeat it. These extremely small pieces of an element are called atoms. Now to make it super easy, Consider this Lego toy. It is like an element. When I divide this Lego toy into smaller bricks, they are like atoms because we cannot divide these bricks further. If you have learned this fundamental concept of element and atom, you have already learned the concept of Dalton's atomic theory. Hence noted down this basic concept of element and atom. Now we will learn Dalton's atomic theory. About 200 years ago, in 1803, a brilliant scientist, John Dalton was wondering that how all these things like water, air, food, animal etc. are made of. Finally, he reached to a conclusion and put forward his famous theory, which we call Dalton's atomic theory. Dalton Baba states that all matter is made up of atoms. For example, water, sugar and gold are all made up of elements and elements are made up of atoms like hydrogen, oxygen, carbon etc. Secondly, atoms are indivisible and indestructible. Consider gold. 
we can divide this gold into smaller pieces which we call atoms. But we cannot further divide the atoms of gold. Also, we cannot destroy these atoms of gold. Similarly, we cannot divide or destroy these hydrogen atoms. That's why Dalton's Baba say that atoms are indivisible and indestructible. Thirdly, all atoms of a given element are exactly the same. For example, consider gold. Let I have 100 gold atoms. These 100 gold atoms are identical in size, shape and in everything. Similarly, consider hydrogen atoms. They all are identical. Just like all $1 or 1 rupee coins have the same shape and weight. Fourthly, atoms of different elements are different. For example, the atoms of hydrogen are totally different from carbon, while atoms of carbons are totally different from oxygen. Just like one dollar is totally different from one rupee. Fifthly, atoms combine in simple whole number ratios to form compounds. This is little bit difficult point. But don't worry, let me explain it. There are two things in it, compounds and whole number ratios. Remember that when two elements combine together, they form a compound. For example, hydrogen and oxygen combine together to form water. We call this water as a compound. We can see that there are two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Both two and one are whole numbers. Thus we say that in a compound like water, the ratio of atoms is always whole number. Let me repeat it. In a compound like water, the ratio of atoms is always whole number. Similarly, consider carbon dioxide. The ratio of carbon to oxygen is 1 to 2. Still the ratio of atoms is whole number. Remember that it is not possible that you take half atom of hydrogen and half atom of oxygen to form water. Similarly, it is not possible that you take half atom of carbon and half atom of oxygen to form carbon dioxide. We always take atoms in whole numbers like 1, 2, 3 etc to form a compound. That's why Dalton Baba states that atoms combine in simple whole number ratios to form compounds. Hence noted down this easy explanation of Dalton's atomic theory.